lot of them, including myself. I uh, haven't had trial. I've not been sentenced or convicted. I've been moved around to Bureau of Prisons facility. Uh, I've been in here for seven months without trial. Uh, some of the more ludicrous claims in my case is that I'm a threat to society based on debunked claims that have come to light and I'm still in here even though we have determined that the government made up everything, practically everything that they originally argued to have me detained. Uh, most cases don't get pre-trial detention, so if you've heard that all the J6ers are getting arrested and locked up, uh, there's you should really pay attention to some of the cases if you want, I'd really recommend uh, researching every single January 6th claim and to do so you should go as far to read the, the court transcripts and you'll find out a lot of January 6ers aren't even re Republicans or Trump supporters I've met several of them in here I'm not going to just go through every single name but I've met several of them here actually well, I will name one of them uh, Jaden X uh, also known as John Sullivan uh, is just a couple doors down. He's still claiming after being uh, convicted and sent, oh, I think he's waiting on sentencing, convicted of, I think, seven counts, including felonies, that he's being religiously persecuted. So you should definitely investigate some of these people and some of their claims because uh, this guy is still barking up the wrong tree, for example. Uh, he was the one that led me into the scene where Ashley Babbitt was on the ground. I'm going to be talking about that a lot because a lot of people want that story. I wanted to make an exclusive here on my own channel before I just start giving them credence. And uh, I don't know some of these people. I don't really speak for them, and I don't really encourage some of their uh, reporting for January 6th. But I do encourage my own voice to be heard. Uh, some of the, the, the claims uh, deserve a lot of attention. In fact, even mine. So I'm going to give you some things to think about. Um, so he tried to get me to start a, a riot around the, this is John Sullivan, tried to get me to start a riot surrounding a 14-year-old girl getting shot inside the Capitol. It turned out the next day that she was a 14-year Air Force veteran, reported uh, by the news. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on with that. I'm just going to cut to the chase of it. I didn't believe him. I walked right by him. I investigated. Um, let's see here. There's a lot of footage. You can go find it yourself. Some of it's even Jaden X, his footage. Um, she was not shot. <laughs> uh, her mother, I was investigating before I was arrested outside the D.C. Uh, jail here. I was investigating her claims and a lot of other things. I gave an interview uh, to uh, Defender of Ants. You can see it on his channel. You can see it in my case where it's cited. I also gave another interview to him when I first got in here concerning my discovery that I found. Uh, so they didn't like what I was reporting and they said I'm not a reporter and I don't really care. The government doesn't get to, to choose who the press are, so that's a problem with our system currently. Another is I don't have any rights because I've already been found guilty instead of innocent, I'm supposed to be presumed innocent. Uh, the claims that they came up with have been debunked. You can read it in my filings, no matter how ridiculous it gets. But the discovery, my discovery, my initial, initial, uh, initial batch of discovery, I learned that Jennifer Biden, an FBI agent working with the Domestic Terrorism Tracking Unit 1 with the FBI, uh, is likely, because we had an investigator check into it, she's not a real person, but the FBI is using her anyways, uh, is likely Ashley Babbitt, and started investigating me in the January 6th stuff a year after her purported death, Ashley Babbitt. Uh, I spoke with some people outside the jail. They insisted that she was alive. They were likely FBI agents. So this is really 
really interesting stuff here. I do have supporting documents. I shouldn't be releasing my lawyers that don't release them, but we do have them. Uh, I do have a video on here with the document name. You can go get a Freedom of Information Act uh, request and go get it yourself. It's unclassified. Um, let's see here. What else? What else? What else? Gee, I just jumped right into it. Yeah, uh, Jaden X is still claiming that Ashley Biden, or Ashley Biden, Ashley Babbitt is uh, dead and he's shook up by it, but he's also claiming religious persecution. So <laughs> you guys gotta be diligent, think for yourselves, don't just listen to me or anyone else out there. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. Um, I, I, was I was subsequently attacked for my investigation into Ashley Babbitt's mom outside here, Mickey Widoff. Um, that's what they claimed before they attacked me in the J6 pod. Very suspicious, very strange that uh, January 6ers who show so much love and support for each other in there uh, singing the, the national anthem, I hear they stop now, uh, are doing so well. And then when someone comes in with a different uh, set of ideas that I would get assaulted or anyone else for that matter. Jaden X doesn't want to go over there. He claims that he's afraid for his, his well-being. And they just moved him over here. He said he was also, to move over here, that he was also uh, uh, threatened by some guys for sexual harassment while he was showering. I don't really, you know, if you know much about this guy, he doesn't tell the truth. He has a habit of lying, so. Um, I want to talk about his mental health. There's plenty of interviews out there from his brother. Uh, that talks about that, and so you can go read up on him. He's been disavowed by BLM and Antifa, even though he's ran with them. Uh, he did, I did get two interviews with him in here, and he says that he did run with them, but he's not, and he didn't want to go to the J6 pod because he was afraid that the, it would beat him for being Antifa or believing he was Antifa. Uh, some people have accused me of being Antifa, I'm not. Um, independent investigative journalist, reporter, and I'm um, doing that right now, reporting this to you. So there's a lot to this stuff. Um, I, love, I am the first guy to, to uh, come out and try and give this story, give it to a lot of the press. They have been convinced that anything that says otherwise, uh, they have conspiracy theories. I would like to point you to Woo's News. Um, what does he go by now? Where does he, what is he, are you there? Yeah. Can you say I, that? Where, where? I think he's still Woo's News. Okay, Woo's News, uh, I think he does go by something, again, something different, but he can find him. Here he just gave another report, it's pretty good, uh, trying to, to demystify this these claims about her not being dead. Um, so, there will be more, he's doing some pretty good uh, coverage of what's going on. I'd, I'd recommend turning you on to him. I do recommend uh, Defender of Ants. He does some pretty good investigative stuff. Um, I don't believe everything they're, they're, they say and stuff, and neither do they to me, but I do recommend you guys check out things that are a little bit alternative and people that are actually on the ground that have, uh, you know, that put their own money forward to do this job. It's not like people get paid a lot of money. I, I, paid, every, I paid for everything. I don't get paid by anybody. I definitely am independent. Uh, have collaborated with some of these people and I would recommend that you think for yourself during these times this is in American history this is quite a uh, disaster if you actually investigate some of the stuff as of today uh, Donald Trump's uh, DC case for the reported insurrection was removed from the docket uh, prior to the judge actually uh, doing anything and then you know, it's just really weird. Some things that are really weird. I've been investigating a lot of this. A co-defendant in a civil case for the wrongful death of a police officer that there's just no information. You can go investigate that. Um, Smith versus Kaufman at all. Some really weird stuff going on in these cases. I would really recommend you do your own research. I'm not just going to fill your head with what my thoughts are in this, this quick uh, brief here. So um, think for yourselves. Figure it out for yourselves. Uh, Dr. Kaufman, in the case, it went to a sentencing. I did some reporting on it. Um, he's not even a Trump supporter. He has a history of working with Congress. Uh, he has clients from the Supreme Court and Congress, Senate, White House, so every branch has somebody who comes through there. 
Porter. He said that during the sentencing, you can go get the transcript. Uh, a lot of weird stuff. He was seen on camera destroying property inside the Capitol, assaulting police officers on the footage that I reviewed in the, at the sentencing hearing. Some really weird stuff. And he was only charged with four misdemeanors. Uh, that's pretty strange. Uh, of which the police officers that he's seen assaulting, none of which are the ones that he's actually being sued or am I, I'm being sued for. So this is some pretty strange times. I recommend people actually do their own research. There's plenty of video out there showing overhead what's going on now. They try to hide a lot of that. Uh, I know the former Speaker of the House, um, McCarthy, did not want that to be seen, especially the Ashley Babbitt footage. He refused to allow me to see it any footage uh he actually said that i tried to threaten him there's no proof of that there's no charges so there's a lot of things that have been debunked and they just don't want you to think about it i'm still being held in here uh i have no history of violence um what else not being charged with violence not being charged with a lot of things they're threatening me trying to get me to plead out to four misdemeanors they you have one Minute remaining. They touched on additional charges, felonies, uh, unlawful entry into my my van. Um, no warrant, no probable cause has been established. That's just sitting there. A judge is just sitting on it. Doesn't want to actually make any ruling. In some for some reason. So I mean, I've been sitting here for months. Uh, yeah. So. Um, lots to it. These are some pretty interesting times. I'd recommend people figure things out. In the meantime, uh, Nikki Widoff and her family, Ashley Babbitt, uh, are suing the government for $30 million. If what I'm saying is even remotely true, that should send chills down people's spines as far as what the government's trying to get away with. So, um, the Trump case is pretty ridiculous that it just get removed from the docket this morning, earlier this week. And the- Thank you for using Global Telling.